Welcome back to Good Day State Line. We have a ton to talk about with you, Eric Wilson. There's, how much time do we have? We got plenty <laughs> of time. First, we want to talk about the fact that you were on Wheel of Fortune once. Well, but how cool was it for you to That's talk really, to Vanna? It was really cool. <laughs> it was very, very cool. You can tell watching the interview <laughs> how know. excited you were. Uh, but yes, I was on the show, oh man, 1980s. Seven, okay. I think it was. Yeah, so like. There we go. Yeah, I knew we had something school. to show. So it's hard. Yeah, it's hard to see. There I am. Oh, there you with are. The, uh, pink shirt and the white tie and the mullet. Love it. Yeah. How'd you yeah. do? Um, I did pretty well. I won the first two puzzles, and then so that was back when um, it wasn't cash. You know, they had like okay. the the prize carousel that went around, and so you won a puzzle, and then you got to shop for prizes, and so I won the first oh. two puzzles. <laughs> And then I didn't get those skis or the Lake Tahoe trip. I don't remember what I Bummer. got in there. Um, the biggest, oh, you got, you had to put the close-up in there, right? You kind of look like the, a young Jimmy Fallon. That shows the mullet perfect. <laughs> I take that as a compliment. Uh, you can do your good um, Jimmy Fallon vibes. But that, back then, you only got three puzzles in a whole game. And so we ran out of time. And that third game, um, Pat spun the wheel. Uh -huh. And so you know he spins the one time. And then you just keep going around yeah. until everybody gets the puzzle. And I didn't guess the, uh -huh. I was the person in front of me guessed it. And when it was her turn, I knew it it was but what was um, it she got it put on your thinking cap oh, that's a good one i didn't know you had to shop for prizes because that was the year i was born <laughs> <laughs> I just had, I was like, oh, you, you have anything else to talk to me about? <laughs> yes, we got some <laughs> This is the last time I make an appearance on your show, Whoops, Michelle. Sorry, <laughs> but let's talk about your show then. Let's talk about Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. And you had to obviously do a lot of things differently this year. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, it was, it was a challenge to finish last season. Right. And then we had to figure out how are we going to pull off a full season because last season it was only four games I think we had to work out. Now we're talking 32 games. Sure. Um, so because of COVID things, we had to make some changes, obviously, but you know, we've socially distanced. Everything is cleaned. Uh, we left it up to schools to, uh, you know, whether they were safe or, or happy with the protocols sure. and they thought they were safe enough. We use a lot of hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. but it's really worked out. You know, part of, part of what I like about the show is I get to interact with the students a lot, but I don't get to do that. I'm pretty much, I'm at the podium. I mm -hmm. never leave the podium. And then they are at their respective desks if you want to call them desks and masked so that's kind of how um, we did it but uh, yeah the first round has been great I and mean, we've had we had a wide range of games too we started our first game where Eastland won by one question came down to you wow. know, the 20 points at the mm -hmm. end and then uh, just last week I think it was Belvedere North who scored the highest point total so far this season so we've really had a wide range so have the teams um, all had like full teams or have some of them had to compete with less people we had one team I think this season that came with three okay but everybody else has had a full team awesome. and, and most of the teams have had enough students where they can rotate people out because sometimes you know some students are better in the buzzing round than than others and sure. you know because we have the buzzins and conferring rounds and things like that so that's so great because you know I was very into extracurricular activities in high school so I feel you know so sorry for the students in this year and last year who weren't able to do those things so the fact that quiz bowl still exists is I'm sure that's one of their favorite things that they're able to do this and year. we've gotten a lot of comments from coaches saying that that you know they Last year, a lot of things got taken away from the students, mm -hmm. and now this year, so many things are out of the ordinary and abnormal that this is just that little dose of normal that we could still keep around for them. So I know that you also have some other fun things coming up this season besides just the games. Don't you have some fun interviews? We do, yes. So we've decided. So part of asking schools if they wanted to particip participate, we did have four schools that had to drop out. Okay. So that left four openings in our tournament, basically. So what we decided to do was we gave the top four teams last season a bye. So those four teams, no one's, no one's seen Auburn yet, or okay. Belvedere, or Morrison, or Durant. None of those teams have played yet. Okay. So um, in the second round, then they will make their first appearances. So that's a little bit of the difference. But getting rid of those games also meant we had to fill a couple of slots, right? Sure. Of weeks. <laughs> so we're doing a show in between. So we're basically doing a round one recap okay. and a preview of round two. But like you said, we have some really cool interviews. So I mentioned coaches that talk about mm -hmm. um, how excited they are to have this stuff. So we actually we talked with Eastland's coach, who was um, his his team won our first game this season, and um, expl he explains kind of how things are different for him as a teacher, but for his students. Sure. So we get to talk to him. Uh, we also one of the big questions that we get as a staff is where do you guys get those questions from? Mm -hmm. There's actually a company that does that in Chicago. So we have an interview with the president of that company. That's so cool. And he talked with us about the process. It was really interesting to hear um, how they come up with all these questions and who their clients are. Um, and then maybe my favorite part of this 
recap show that we have is, you know, we see these students and they're super smart. Mm -hmm. and we see them answer all these tough questions, but they also are people outside of playing quiz bowl, right? And so there's a student on Belvedere North's team who has a really cool hobby. He's he just within the last several months became a pilot. Awesome. And so we went up in his airplane and which is kind of your flew thing around. too. Yeah. So <laughs> Tom Tom and I have had here's some video of yeah. our flight. So Tom and I kind of had a bond since he's please played the game all four years basically. Oh cool. And so we've chatted airplanes a lot and he finally became a pilot and so we did a quick little interview and learned about he's got a whole family history of flying so it's really kind of that's fun so cool. to listen to him and and how uh, it's kind of in his blood and what his plans are so, that's so yeah cool. that's part of our show our in-between show I'm really interested to watch the question interview too about the questions being created I'm excited for that some really <laughs> smart people come yeah. up with these and it's fun because he really explains like where um, the ideas come from for you know you don't just sit down and say okay we need 12 quantum physics questions. Sure. Sometimes he says that, and just a little, little teaser, but sometimes their question writers will just be reading a book and they'll go, oh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, and cool. then they'll write it down and they'll use it as a, as a question for some quiz bowl tournament. Do you think some viewers are going to be bummed to find out you don't write the questions? Uh, I hope they already know <laughs> that. And clearly, I am not the smartest person in that room ever. So I, I hope that they assume I'm not the one writing the questions. I would have a lot of trouble pronouncing the questions. I sometimes I have questions. trouble reading the questions. So. Yeah, I'm not sure I could come up with them. Yeah, you're better than <laughs> you me to me read too much credit. <laughs> so, so we have a new episode on Saturday, right? So where can we catch all of the Quiz Bowl episodes? Uh, so Quiz Bowl, for a while this season, we were on Fridays because okay. of uh, football, but that changed. So we're back to Saturdays on TVO at 6.30. Okay. Um, my network TV on Sunday mornings and then um, Sunday nights at 9.30 on Fox 39. Awesome. So many places to catch you. Yeah. And on the news. Plenty of opportunities. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining no me No problem. Today. And Wheel of Fortune, yes, in case you oh, forgot about yeah. that moment. I'm telling you, I'm going to find We have to go a, out with that picture. I'm going to find a Jimmy Fallon picture. You look like him. I'm never coming on the show again. <laughs> coming up next on GDS, we are giving you uh, some great New Year's resolution ideas in case you haven't made one yet. But first, time to name our fan of the week. We asked you on Facebook, what do you want more of in 2021? Our winner, Reginald Smith, he said simply... Love, peace, and unity. He wins a GDS Fan of the Week swag bag, and you can win too. Just follow our Facebook page tomorrow for details. We'll be right back.